On the edge of West Elizabeth, just slightly northeast of the Devil's Cave, lies a cool little secret for you to find. Head over there and you'll come across the wreckage of a prototype airship with the corpse of its inventor lying inside of it. It seems this person met their unfortunate demise trying to take to the skies, and Arthur will make a reference to Icarus, the Greek boy of myth who flew too close to the sun and met his untimely end. With the game taking place in 1899, just four years before the Wright brothers successfully took flight with their plane, this is likely a nod to the several failed attempts at flight prior to that. Interestingly enough, you can find a similar secret in New Austin, just outside of Armadillo. Out in the desert near Pleasant's house, you can find another flying machine, this time a glider. It's unclear whether the two aircraft are related to each other in some way, but this glider is a cool little easter egg of its own. If you look at the tail of the glider, it has the name Charles Kinnear written on it. If that name sounds familiar, it's because Charles Kinnear was a stranger who John Marston could help out in the first Red Dead Redemption, gathering supplies to help him finish building his flying machine. Tragically though, Kinnear meets the same fate as the inventor found in the airship wreckage in West Elizabeth. Perhaps the two had known each other and were rivals in the race of being the first person to fly.